Oh boy, we are about to lose a few subscribers after this video. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Now, in this video, I want to talk about something serious. Now, what if you don't like programming? Is the programming only thing in the world? I would like to discuss a very interesting email that I have received today and let's talk about this in this video. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now, this channel whole revolves around programming and technology. So I receive tons of emails every day. And I pick up a few of them, which are very interesting, and try to answer them publicly here. So in today's email, I have got something interesting. You can read that on the screen. I'll read that from my phone. So here is the email. Hello, sir. My name is Sumit. I'm doing bachelor's of vocational program in software development from IP University. Okay. The teaching methodology of our college is not good. Now tell me something new. Why I'm not surprised there. I'm also pursuing a BSc from IGNOU. Sir, the problem is I don't find programming interesting. I like teaching physics and chemistry to students, but sometimes I like programming because of its demand in today's world. So I should drop out programming or continue my BSc? So please help me. I'm very confused what to do. Now, the advice that I'm going to give you in this video uh, is going to be a little off from my channel because I'm a programming biased person. I love programming. I write code every single day. I'm very passionate about it. And I can do it whole day. Even on Sundays, I do it. It's kind of a hobby for me. But the advice that I would give you today is going to be something different. Now, let me tell you this, that programming is not the only thing in the world. Yes, I know I'm going to lose a few subscribers after saying this, that, hey, what this guy is saying? But yes, that's the actual truth. The world needs uh, more free people. World needs a lot of carpenter. It needs a lot of plumbers. It needs, certainly it needs a good uh, teachers, good lawyers and uh, good policemen and all these things. So I would say programming is not the only thing in the world. But before you just leave the programming, I would say that uh, everything at the start is not so much fun. I didn't like the programming at all at the first and it's, it's completely okay to hate. And uh, uh, last time when I checked in the country, we are allowed to have our opinions. We are allowed to hate somebody. We are allowed to love somebody. Uh, perhaps I think that's still the case, but let's leave that apart. So you are completely free to have your opinion about programming. If you don't like it, that's okay. Uh, but being a biased programmer, I'm, I'm completely oriented towards the programming. I would like to advise you that, hey, stick for a few more days and maybe eventually you will like the programming and its stuff. It's in the starting days, it's never a fun. It's actually pain in the butt. But again, uh, with the time, you will start loving the programming. But I'm not saying you should stick with it. If you have already found out a passion about teaching, like you want to uh, teach people about physics and chemistry, hey, that's good because you are already loving it. You like that. And that is important in here. If you don't like your job, hey, just quit it. Uh, you will for sure do something in life that would be much more meaningful. But if you love your job, if you love what you are doing, then uh, it's it's completely a different game. It's like uh, you don't need to take holidays. You can just love your job every single day. But am I the right person to ask this thing? Yes, I have tried to answer this most honestly there. But to be honest, I'm very, very biased about programming. And that is one of the reason I would say stick with the programming. Just uh, since I'm saying just uh, try to hear from a random guy on the YouTube and stick with it for a few more couple of days or maybe a couple of months. And uh, if you think that still, hey, I'm not made for the programming, it's completely okay. I get your point. Some people like programming, some people don't like it. Just like, uh, let me tell you one of the, another interesting experience that I had. In the very early days, I was like a backend programmer. I like to code in the scripting language. I like to design the database, but for the front end, it was like a nightmare for me. Uh, the reason being uh, behind that, I triggered, I've I tried to find out what is the reason behind that and the reason was I was not at all good in graphics. I was not good in designing the buttons, uh, the graphic images or whatever the images are and that is why my front end looks really dull. So what I did, I took a couple of boot camps, 
and learned about the softwares like Sketch, Photoshop, Illustrator and once I mastered that my designings were good then uh, my interest in the front end uh, became to a next level and I picked up the pace from there and presently I like the front end even more uh, compared to the back end. I still do a little bit back end stuff and all of that but still my first of choice is still the front end. So what I'm trying to say in here is stick with it few more days. Maybe you will like the programming, it's it's fantastic thing. But if you think that it's a market demand, you want to do it for money, obviously that's one of the reasons because programmers earns quite a lot and there is a lot of traveling we can do, it's, it's a fun job. But again, just doing it for money is not gonna get you stick for a long time. If you're not passionate about it, hey, just leave it. Uh, we need good teachers there who can teach us good physics, who can teach us good chemistry. So my advice would be, Stick with uh, for a few more months just for a random guy talking on the YouTube and then completely move on if you don't like after that. I know this was complete bizarre advice that I could have given uh, but at least I was trying to be honest there. Okay, with this I would say if you are liking this channel, if you are enjoying this channel, make sure you do hit the subscribe button there. We talk about programming all the time in this channel. And in case you think that this video can be helpful for somebody, Make sure you share it on the social medias as well and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.